Welcome to Miss Graves Art Room. Hello, my most amazing artists. Welcome back to another week of art with Miss Graves. I'm so glad you're here. Um, I loved seeing some artwork that was sent to me over Class Dojo and emailed to me. Um, I have posted those on my Instagram account, Mrs. Graves Art Room. That's where I'm going to be posting all of our artwork while you are at home. So follow along if you're on Instagram or tell your family to. Um, today we're going to be creating shadow drawings. So today we're going to just need a couple of supplies. You'll need something to draw with, a pen or pencil, marker, whatever you have available and a piece of paper. If you don't have any plain paper, you can use newspaper or a magazine, a piece of a magazine. Of course, you'd wanna ask your family if that's okay. And then you're going to get your favorite thing. It can be a toy. Um, I have chosen my son's favorite toy, and that is the Incredible Hulk. So go ahead and grab those things and come back. So you can see I have my toy set up in the light. I am going to attempt to, oop, he fell down. If that happens, it's okay. Just set him back up and start over. So you're going to go around the shadow. It might be easier to do this with a pencil. And if you go inside the shadow a little, that's okay. This is not perfect. We're just really experimenting with art making at this point. And I want you to see that you don't have to have anything fancy to make art. You just need a couple of things in your imagination, really. All right, so you can see I'm outlining it. Continue outlining it. You don't have to be perfect with it. All right. And like these bottom areas where his feet are, in after and make it work. All right, so I'm going to move my guy. You could also lay it down like this and outline. You could do both. Okay. This one looks pretty wild, but I like it. Okay, all right, so then when you remove it, this is what you got. So now the second part is that I want you to take a look at this and see if you can turn it into something else. So when I look at this, to me, this is looking a bit like a lobster. It started as Hulk's body and to me it's looking like a lobster so I'm just using my imagination to make this look like a lobster I have no idea really how they're joined together I know they just have little legs some beady little eyes uh, I guess these are gonna be there in, it's antennas I don't even know how many they have it doesn't have to be a realistic Give it a mouth to make it a nice little happy one. All right, so where is this lobster? Where is it going? It is. What is this over here? Hmm. What does it look like to you? This up here looks like a frog to me. But you could turn it another way and it could look like something else. See? Oh, 
as you can see, there's lots of options. So you can leave it as a line drawing like I have here, or you can, if you have um, some markers or color pencils or crayons available, you can color it in. I would also love for you to go in the background, wherever, whatever you turn your shadow into, I want you to give it an environment. So where would a lobster live? It could be in a fish tank, like a, at the grocery store. It's a little depressing. It could also be um, in the ocean or wherever lobster, I don't really even know where lobsters live. Um, it could be in an imaginary place. Maybe this lobster is in outer space and you want to give it some nice astronaut clothes. The world is your lobster. All right, you did it. So now it is time to clean up. Make sure you put all of your items away so that your family doesn't have to clean up after you. That is part of the artist's job. Thanks for joining me in our art room today. You can follow our artworks on Instagram at Mrs. Graves Art Room. You can also email your artwork to Mrs. Graves Art Room at Gmail. And if you give me permission, I will post them onto our Instagram page. Um, I can't wait to see y'all next week. And if you have any requests, go ahead and email them to me as well. See you next time. Bye-bye.